in there you'll see temp log and four disk so let's go ahead and click on four disk there it is and of course like I said before you don't need an audio TS you just need a video TS and here it is now of course on, on yours you might have a whole bunch of other files here but since I, I counseled it earlier it's just got that and again like I said if you're not on the trial version uh, you'll need the image burn to uh, burn it onto disk and I'll show you one more time of how to do that you can either one click this one right here or two you can click mode build and it'll take you there but I made it a little bit more easier by doing by clicking on that little shortcut and make sure it's on your DVD uh, drive and oh and this right here if it's not the file to CD picture you need to click right here and it'll make it now see right here it's filed to ICO you don't want it that you want it to a CD okay and I don't have a blank one in there that's why it's not uh, lit up and then you just burn it from there simple and easy okay that's it for fab now the next one is, I want to talk to you about is free DVD ripper free DVD ripper it's an okay ripper I personally don't like it but uh, maybe you can get get it to work pretty good uh, some people like it and some people don't but uh, basically what free DVD ripper is it rips the DVDs now there's a difference in between ripping a DVD and copying the DVD. Ripping a DVD, what it does, it'll rip your DVD and rip it into uh, a certain format. Copying your DVDs, you're just copying it into uh, like a video TS file. And it's normally like a um, 4 point, uh, it's like a 4 gig, it's like 4.7 gigs or something like that. <clears throat> now when you're, uh, if you rip a movie, it'll rip it into you know depending on what format you're doing it can be into like 700 megabytes or up to 4 4.7 gigs whichever format you decide to use now to get a free DVD ripper what you need to do is go to Google and you want to type in free DVD ripper I went ahead and put them all together but I guess you can put spaces between it be fine uh, then you want to go to the second one not the first one but the second one and it will be with uh, brothersoft.com and you want to make sure it has 2.25 on it that's just that's the correct one then once you're in Brothersoft don't go to any advertisements there go down to download you can download there or you can go on down here and read a little bit about it and you'll see the picture right there if you want to view it larger larger that's where it's looking right it's got a simple little interface so let's go ahead and download this one. Okay, and it gives us two servers to download it from. Uh, let's go ahead and do by Brothersoft's server. And then you save the file. And and then from there, you go to wherever you saved it at. Or you can just go right here in the download box, whichever one you prefer to do on it. And then we'll go ahead and install. I'll go ahead and skip the install process. Okay, the install process uh, is pretty quick. It didn't take very long to do. Um, now, from there, uh, let's see what all this does. Kind of do to this program as well. Because it's like a real simple program. I guess from here, we just hit open DVD. And uh, we'll pick the DVD drive and then click OK. And it's going to give us the title. We're going to select that one. I say warning, input, output, if not equal, pull down, up, pull down, up, will perform. Okay, let's okay. Okay, and I see I'll output, I see format. You can pick what format you want MP4, uh, or if you want MPEG2, AVI. It don't really give you that many formats, but uh, you can do MPEG-2, MP4. If you do, if you have like an iPod or something, that's what you want right here. If you just wanted to put it on your uh, on your computer, you use AVI. And then from right there, you just hit start uh, start encoding, and from there, it'll encode the video. So let's hit pause and let's try it out. For some reason, it gave me that warning about the input output uh, rate is not equal. So 
Let's go ahead and get it started and let's see if I uh, still do do I mean if I'll still do it anyway. Um forgive me I'm kinda new to this one too. If you want to pick the output folder you just pick where you want it to go to. Um but uh for now I didn't pick any so it's, right now it's gonna go to C just to the C drive. Okay, so I'm gonna hit uh, start computer and local C drive. Oh, okay, here you go, none. Okay, there you go, this DVD ripper, free DVD ripper. It's okay, but I don't know, I just didn't like the video quality that well. But uh, if you like, you can try that. It's a completely free program. You ain't ever got to worry about having to pay for it. So, uh, but basically, like I said, what this does is just rips it onto your hard drive. Now, if you want to use this program to rip it to copy in DVDs, it's not really recommend to copy in DVDs. This is more for something like iPods, or iPods, or or if you have like an external hard drive and you want to have a library of movies. Um, so that's basically what these are this for and what these next few ones I'm going to tell you about are for. Of course you can use some of them to copy DVDs as well but you, you need um, you still need image burn to do it with or Nero. Okay so that's it for that one. Let's go ahead and go to our next one. Um, next one is a program called Magic DVD Ripper. Now, Magic DVD Ripper, it is a pretty good program, um, but it's a paid program. You have to pay for it. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to Google and type in Magic DVD Ripper. And here's Magic DVD Ripper. They have a free download, but you can only do probably about five or ten rips. That's just about it. Or you can go ahead and pay for it for $34.97. It's a good program. If you want to pay for it, go for it. But... Uh, I have a better program that does better than this one, but I'm going to go ahead and go over this one anyways. Okay, once you've downloaded and installed Magic DVD Ripper, what you need to do is go ahead and click on the shortcut for it. Which will look like a movie strip. Now once you open up Magic DVD Ripper, if you already have a disc in there, uh, it'll give you some choices here. Uh, you can back up or convert. If you want to back up the DVDs, it will back it up into video TS files, much like um, much like uh, D DVD decryptor and uh, DVD fab and shrink and all the rest of them do. It'll work just like that, and, and it will also do uh, copy protected DVDs. Now let's say if it didn't do a copy protected DVD, well you can use a program like uh, DVD for three as I talked about earlier, which were work on the work in the background. <clears throat> which I believe it does. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, it looks like it'll probably work in the background as well. Let me restart. Uh, sh uh, let me restart the uh, Magic DVD Ripper to make sure. Okay, it looks like it'll do that. Now, on the backup option right here, you can copy the disc fully main menu or split. Now what the split will do, which this is kind of nice, uh, not too many programs offer this, is that let's say you have a, a a movie that's really big and you need two discs to do it with. What this right here will do, it will split it into two discs. Um, this is probably about the best feature that they have on Magic DVD Ripper to where you can split it into two discs, which that's pretty good. Especially for all those movies that's like really really long, or you want or you want the extras. Now, if you have like an iPod, or you want to have a uh, a movie library on your computer, let's say you have an external hard drive, or you have a computer with a very big hard drive in it, and you want to have yourself a movie library. Alright, YouTube got a 10 limit time limit for its video, so uh, if you want to see the next video, click right here.